good riddance Fidel Castro. Hundreds of Cuban Americans take to the streets of Miami to celebrate the death of the dictator they fled. As thousands of Cuban exiles cheered and celebrated in Florida in the wake of communist dictator Fidel Castro's death, the streets of Havana remained silent. Miami's Little Havana teemed with life following news of Castro's death early Saturday morning as people who had fled from his socialist rule banged pots, waved Cuban flags and shouted he's dead. He is dead. But as salsa music blared from car stereos and fireworks lit up the sky on Kealocho, the heart of the Cuban exile community in Florida, the scenes on the street of Cuba's Havana were eerily quiet. The death of Castro caught many people in Havana by surprise. The streets were quiet almost immediately after President Raul Castro appeared on national television and announced that his brother, aged 90, had died on Friday night. The nightclubs in Havana were shut down and the crowds of young people were forced out onto the streets. Young men and women were pictured walking calmly around the streets as the rest of the city remained a ghost town. The Cuban government has declared nine days of national mourning for the death of Fidel Castro, ending when his remains are interred on December 4. Public activities and events will be cancelled and the Cuban flag will fly at half-mast. Mary Ela Alonso, a 45-year-old doctor, called the retired Cuban leader the guide for our people. There will be no one else like him. We will feel his physical absence, she said. Mechanic Celestino Acosta was sitting on a porch in the capital's central neighborhood of Vedado. He called the news of Castro's death a painful blow for everyone. Raul Castro who succeeded his brother in 2006, told Cubans in the television announcement, today, November 25, at 10.29 p.m., the commander-in-chief of the Cuban Revolution, Fidel Castro Ruiz, passed away. In compliance with the expressed will of companion Fidel, his remains will be cremated. He concluded his statement by saying, onward to victory. While the mood in Cuba was somber following the announcement, Within just 30 minutes the streets of Miami's Little Havana came alive. Miami's population is 70% Hispanic and Latino and more than half of that population is of Cuban descent. Cuba C. Castro No. They chanted, while others screamed Cublibur. Thousands of Cubans fled the island to the United States after Castro took power in 1959. Some were loyalists of Fulgencio Batista, the president prior to Castro, while others left with the hope they would be able to return soon, after Castro was toppled. He never was. People banged kitchenware rhythmically in Little Havana, others danced in the streets and held their cell phones in the air to record the historic moment. As the crowd grew in Miami, car horns filed the air as people continued to cheer and sing in Spanish. Cuban flags waved as more people arrived to celebrate and share the moment together. Miami has been a haven for thousands of Cubans who fled Castro's rule for America, 